Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about whether you can replace or repair your keyboard cables, and if so, how. Replacing or repairing your keyboard cables can be daunting or simple, depending on your technical skills. The fact of the matter right now is that your keyboard wiring is out of whack. You can't type and you've tested your keyboard and have determined that there's definitely a disconnect. There are a few ways a keyboard cable can break, but in most cases you can repair keyboard cables with no problem. Through a few types of repairs may be quite difficult for some people depending on their knowledge. In this video we'll go over some easy fixes and some harder fixes for your keyboard wiring depending on where and how it's broken. So before we move on you need to find out which of these questions most suits your needs. So the easy fixes are the first one. Is your wire not broken but the keyboard connector is not compatible with your computer? Second one. Is the wire broken but can be detached from your keyboard and easily with no tools needed? Hard fixes are the first one. Is the USB mail connector side of the cable broken? The second one. Is the wire cut or torn somewhere in the middle? The third one. Do you not know where the damage is or is your wire detached from a keyboard when it's not supposed to be? So if you've pinpointed your issue, feel free to skip until you see the answer to the question that fits. This video is broken down to assist you in wiring repairs for your keyboard as well as a few alternatives with these problems in mind. So easy fixes, good news everybody, if you're in the first section you won't need any tools. All you need to do is access to an online or electronic store of your choice. No soldering or rewiring required. So continue watching this. The first problem. My wire isn't broken, I just need to have the right connector for my computer. Whether or not your computer, your keyboard has a PS2 port connector or a USB connector, it doesn't matter. You just need an adapter. Adapters allow normally incompatible computers to connect to devices that they normally don't accept. There's nothing you need to do other than purchase the correct adapter with the right ports for your needs. Here's a small list of adapters. You can just click the link in the below and see all of them. So simply plug your incompatible connection into the adapter you need and it should be good to use again. If you need a different connector type you can usually find them online easily. Just make sure to read the reviews and product information to make sure the adapter will work for your needs. The second problem is my wire is broken but it can detach from my computer easily. This is probably the easiest problem to solve in this video. Just like how if your phone charger cable breaks, you can always just purchase a new wire directly for cheap online or at a store. Some newer models of keyboards have detachable mini USB to USB or Type-C to USB wires that can be replaced with a little hassle in reconnecting them back to the keyboard. There are also some USB to USB varieties in case your keyboard needs that instead. The cool part is that if you need a longer cable, then you can purchase one now. Alternatively, if it looks like it's a mini USB to USB cable, a phone charger cable for Android devices may do the trick. So a quick replacement is already in your house. So the road below may be tough, especially if you haven't dabbled into soldering or replacing wires before. That being said, here's the light at the end of the tunnel. The tools you have to purchase are reusable and the basic circuitry skills you may have to learn may prove useful down the line too. I'll also link to plenty of tutorials so you aren't hanging high and dry. Alternatively, you may have to replace the keyboard or have someone else fix it, fix the wiring. Before we continue, here's a list of tools you may need. A reliable soldering kit, a heat gun, soldering flux paste. A wire cutter, stripper, a magnifying glass, a replacement cable if the damage is extensive, electrical tape, a screwdriver, a grave for your keyboard certainty. <laughs> Keep in mind you may not need all of these tools. It depends on where your wire is broken. So continue watching this video before purchasing anything. And all of the links are in the description below. So the first problem is the male USB connector part of the wire is broken. Whether the USB connector fried due to water damage, your pad chewed on the head of your cable, or for whatever reason, you know your connector is broken and you've opted to fix it. 
Now there are two ways you can deal with this issue. The first one is you can install a new USB connector directly. That's the hard one. The easiest one, the easier one is you can install a new USB connector to indirectly by soldering the wires together at the cable. So the direct way. Essentially, you, you'll need to cut an inch off the damaged USB cable and strip the plastic covering the four individual wires inside. Then, using your soldering kit, solder each individual wire onto the new nodes of the new naked USB connector. Then, make sure to, that you don't let any wires to show on the USB hub by using a plastic USB shield and electrical tape. And you're good to go. That's it. So, the indirect way. First, cut off the damaged USB connector and strip the plastic off the wiring still connected to your keyboard. Next, strip the colored plastic wires on both exposed ends and remove any insulation in the way of the metal wiring underneath. Then, intertwine the wires belonging to your new USB connector and the cable to your keyboard together. Make sure the colors for each individual wire match and twist them together like they're shaking hands tidily. Go ahead and test your keyboard to see if the USB replacement works. If it does, congratulations. The hard part is done and all that you need to do is wrap all your four wires individually in with electrical tape and then wrap the entire cord again. This will protect your cord from damage and yourself from electrical shock. The second problem is, I don't know how my wire is damaged or it's detached at the keyboard side. So, the first thing you need to do is make sure you grab your trusty soldering tools and a screwdriver. Unplug your keyboard and flip it upside down. You should see some screws on the bottom that you can loosen. Once the bo bottom chassis of the keyboard is removed, you'll be able to see where your wiring is connected directly to the board, board circuitry. Then, depending on what you find out, you may see that some, of, some wiring could be damaged on this side of the board. If it looks like the wire can be stripped and resoldered, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, you may need to connect a new USB cable to the keyboard in case that doesn't work after testing. Then make sure to follow the same guidelines for soldering the wiring to the USB mail side of the cable. It's pretty much going to be a similar process for soldering the wire to the circuit of the keyboard. Don't forget to use flux base though. Once you've successfully soldered the wires solidly onto the nodes, go ahead and test the keyboard to see if it's working. If not, you may have made a cold solder connection or some other mistake that could be fixed by going through the process again. And once your keyboard is officially working, carefully place the shell back together. Voila, <laughs> you'll fix your key keyboard cable. So to conclude, whether or not it's easy, there are definitely ways you can fix a keyboard cable. While there are so many factors involved, like the varieties of cable types and individual differences between each keyboard, it's still relatively simple to replace a broken cable. You just, you just need to have the right tools, the right know-how and a great attitude. If anything, learning how to fix your own computer components, starting with simple wires like USB cables, is a great start to a foundation worth of useful knowledge that you can use later in life. Or you can just buy a new keyboard and save yourself from breaking any warranties. Either way, good luck fixing your keyboards. So thanks for watching guys. For more guides and reviews, check out our website, keyboardkings.com.